Good morning. Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's been definitely a while that I posted my last video. Um, life has been crazy and as the time that I'm recording this, um, it's actually been a week that um, the entire state that I live in, we had to be under the quarantine, one week quarantine so far uh, due to the coronavirus um, outbreak. And um, I've been in, we, we've been in the house, we didn't buy a lot of food, um, we didn't stock up like most people, we did not at all buy toilet paper. I think I can live without it. <laughs> so no toilet paper, um, but no, we have enough for, for I, I believe another at least uh, three, four more weeks. So we don't know how long it's gonna take, but this outbreak is no joke. And I encourage everybody to play their part and do their best to contribute to um, the, flattening the curve of the impact. Um, I know it's gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse before it gets better. But we all have to work together in order for this to go away, in order for the healthcare professionals and researchers be able to find a cure and the prevention for the future. So for now, um, I'm stuck in the house. I do my part as a good citizen of not going out. And look at me, I'm wearing like, you know, indoor clothes. Um, I might look like a mess almost every day. Um, not a lot of food, but I am very good at being creative. Always find the ingredients that works for, for my house. I can eat anything, really. I can make things up as I go. So today, I am making a Cambodian uh, waffle, which is it is made from coconut, so it's dairy free. I don't have milk anyway, so I have coconut milk. I have flowers, so I was thinking about it, you know, why not waffle? However, I do not have every single ingredient in the house. I had the tire. Um, I'm making things up. I'm not a baker. I don't know if I've told you that. Um, I love cooking. I'm, I'm an expert. I know how to cook. I know how to do, like my food always tastes good and I get a lot of compliments, right? But when it comes to baking, I hate, I hate, hate, hate baking. I think it's too complicated, confusing. But what I like about Cambodian type of dessert, or this is, you can call this baking, but it's not really baking, it's waffle, right? Uh, a lot of people just get it from the store, already packaged, put the water in, and then they just make it. But me, um, in Cambodia, growing up, we don't have packaged stuff, so we had to be creative, thing outside the box, and we made all this delicious dessert from scratch. So today, I'm gonna make one of my favorite um, Cambodian waffle, or you call it coconut waffle. Um, it's called Nom Pum in my language, and I'm gonna make it using substitute ingredients. Okay, I don't have everything, so it's gonna go, it could go south, it could go east, it could go my way or it could go highway. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so let's get to the ingredients. So this is what you need. Two cups of rice flour and supposedly half a cup of glutinous flour. But because I, I don't have glutinous flour, I didn't know I ran out of glutinous flour, so I substituted um, the glutinous flour with um, cornstarch. And I think it's okay. It should work. So two cups of rice flour and half a cup of um, cornstarch in this case. Okay, and another thing that you need is two cups of coconut milk. And if you buy the can, that is exactly one can of coconut milk. Any coconut milk should be fine, but I like the this specific brand right here. It's one of my favorite. And it's affordable, not expensive at all. Two cups is good enough. And you also need sugar. You can use white sugar, you can use any type of sugar. In Asia, they use palm sugar because it's natural, it's healthier, and it smells so good. I don't have that, so I'm replacing it with brown sugar. Nothing is wrong with brown sugar, um, but it's just not I think it's better than white sugar, but it's not as good as palm sugar. So that again, my substitute for the ingredients. Um, 
And then uh, you also need shredded coconut. Shredded coconut, you um, you can if you have it, you use it. If you don't, you don't. Fresh shredded coconut is even better. But I don't have it, of course. I'm stuck in the house, so I use the dry shredded package coconut. Uh, yeah, shredded coconut. So we're gonna go with that. <laughs> you also need two teaspoons of sesame seeds. And uh, it could be white, it could be black, but typically they use the black sesame seed. One half a teaspoon of um, salt. You need two eggs. Okay, you need baking powder, um, which I don't have. So I'm using this dry yeast. And it's actually expired, it's expired almost three years ago. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just um, I'm gonna just leave it for like half an hour just to make sure, sure the flour rise a little bit in order for the the waffle to look and taste good okay so that's all you need for the dry ingredients um, and definitely of course you need um, you do need a waffle maker which I don't have either so I'm going to be using this toaster. I'm replacing everything, literally almost everything. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so I got my pot and I'm starting the fire right now. Make sure it's low. You don't want it to be high at all. This is not cooking anything, but melting everything together. This is the brown sugar. Put it into the pot. Oh, you see smoking already. I need it extremely because I'm out of the other part, that's why. See that? You don't want it to burn though. Very, very extremely small. Um, low, 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 low heat. And then just add a little bit of um, coconut milk. You don't have to put all of it together, just a little bit. Three big spoons. I have to lower it so much, so much lower. it's melting and a little bit boiling too that is good again keep it very very low so shredded coconut go right into the pot along with it okay melting it I like to keep it in there a little bit longer um, just because the shred shredded coconut is dry it's not the it's not the fresh one that I get from the coconut directly. So you want it to melt, you want it to open up to expand all the smell, aroma and um and the flavor. So leave it a little bit longer just to make sure it's all melting together with the sugar. Okay, great aroma. Tastes really good. So now you can add the rest of the coconut milk in it. Ooh. Once you add and mix all the coconut milk in it, you don't have to wait until it boils um, because you just want it to melt together and warm, but not at all cooked thoroughly. So you can turn off the heat and let it cool in the room temperature. This has to cool down completely in order for us to mix it with the dry uh, ingredient. Otherwise, it's not gonna be good at all. So just, just set it aside, make sure it cools down completely before you mix it with the dry ingredients like I said before if you have the glutinous flour it's better to have half a cup mixing with the rice flour mix it together and uh, for the baking powder if you have just put it together in you know whatever recipe that people usually say how many spoon for two and a half cup of flour but for me, um, according to this, it says I can put the entire package 
which is two about two and a half uh, cups of flour so so it's okay to put the whole package in there I think let me read it again one package Da -da -da. baking powder you can just put it back in but this one is yeast and I just put the entire thing in there oh my god I hope it works <laughs> whatever you're supposed to dissolve it with water because this is not like the baking powder and you just put in you need it to rise first but whatever it's expired anyway I don't know if it works <laughs> so I mix the entire um, entire yeast in there dries into my flour we'll see how it works but I'll make it work um, then uh, the sesame seeds put it right in there I love sesame seeds with my waffle so good smell good look good and delicious a pinch of salt which is half a teaspoon in this case mix it all together all set with the dry ingredients I can set that aside uh, now let's go back to the the wet one and uh, I think it's cool yep kind of room temperature not not as cool as I want it to be but it's uh just look warm it's okay and I think the fact that it's still warm it's good for with the flour the, because yeast needs to be activated with the warm anyway <laughs> so um, yeah uh, for the eggs you know I'll you have the biscuit make sure it's all no more white and um, put it right into the to the lukewarm um, wet sauce with ingredients okay okay so mix well put all the wet into the to dry mix it together and because my yeast need to be activated and also um, it's been expired it's expired for like two three years already so I'm not gonna trust that it's gonna work the way I want it to be but in Asia from what I know and understand is that people who don't have the baking powder or yeast for their their um, this pancake or waffle like this, they just put it in the hot sun or like you know outside in the sun for half an hour, and it rises up a little bit, and they can start um, making the waffle. Riley, that's my dog. Whining, she's always whining. I mean, I love her, but she's just too much like me. That's the problem. Anyway, so, and then mix it, mix it, mix it together, okay, make sure there is no more clumps left, like everything has to be well mixed. Oh my god, I could smell it already, it smells really good. This is why you need coconut uh, milk, shredded coconut, and also uh, sesame seeds all together, all of this, they are just perfect, perfect match, okay, perfect match. But make sure you mix it together. No clump left. Let's see, no clumpy, clumpy, clumpy. I think everything is mixed so well together. Um, I am going to put this in the oven and uh, turn on the light so it's a little bit warm. And leave it in there for about 20 to 30 minutes just to make sure that all the ingredients work together and it comes out good when we, we start um, baking it. Or, Toasting it. All right. See you later. Welcome back. It's been 30 minutes, and um, I still feel the warmness in the the flour. And um, we're ready to make the waffle. And I don't know how it's gonna go, only because the size of the this pancake type of toaster is a little bit small. Um, 
but just like the waffle you can use any sorts of um, the oil spray just so then it doesn't stick on the pan so spray it spray it okay just put it a little bit at a time making sure it really works um because it's not a lot of space here i'm just doing whatever i can right now with what i have so it's it's just gonna be different it's the smaller size pancake okay All right, let's close it and uh, let it sit until this red thing right here turn green. It's green now, I think it is good. Um, ow. Yeah, green is good, green is good, but man, I just wish that the, I just wish the texture is more like the one I used to eat growing up. Let me see. I would switch it and leave it just a little bit longer. Using my finger. Um, I just like it more crispy and you know, like cook both sides mm, but this one is just for tasting let's see how it tastes like mm. yeah it's not bad still good but it doesn't taste exactly the same as the original recipe so yeah hmm. I try but I will write down in the description box below making sure you have all the recipe and another thing about this is that I would say cut down the amount of salt a little bit um, just because I could taste it, it just it could be just um different nuance I add to the to the thing that the salt flavor kind of express much more than I expected. It's supposed to be a hint of salt only, but this is like a little bit salty. It could be the expired yeast. But yes, I will have in the description box the exact recipe. I'm gonna try one more. Mm. Yeah, a little bit longer is better. Yep. I could taste the coconut, um, the shredded coconut, not just the milk itself, but the coconut. So, mm, yeah, if you leave it a little bit longer, cook it longer, it actually tastes so much better. So yes, it's not, it's not bad for mixing different things together, but I would not recommend you doing what I'm doing. So I will leave, um, the exact recipe in the description box below and uh, check it out it's supposedly better than this all right thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video hey, stay safe stay in wash your hands and happy quarantine